Hi guys, Jackie Stevens here with Protein Pantry again. I've got to say thank you so much guys for the response on the last video. I think it's amazing that you guys have shared your stories. Please keep it up and let's continue that community support. Today I wanted to talk about a couple of things from that last video that we've got a lot of questions on. So I thought we could just kind of go over what's the difference between store-bought vitamin C and the difference between whole food, a company that uses whole food supplements as their ingredients. So with vitamin C, you have ascorbic acid, and it's great because it's an antioxidant, and it's also a preservative in food. And the, the way that these companies rate the quality of the vitamin C is the amount of ascorbic acid that they put in their product. And so that might seem wonderful, but they miss out on the real vitamin C complex within vitamin C. So the vitamin P factors like biflavonoids and rutin, vitamin K and J. So these are all things that you want within your vitamin C, the core of the vitamin C, that you wanna use. And that's why I've mentioned I use Standard Process. I'm a distributor of Standard Process. So if you ever need this, you can go to my website, Protein Pantry. But I love to use um, the Cataplex AC. So the Cataplex AC is actually twofold. It has Cataplex A, and, it ha and that's great for your mucous membranes. I'm um, keeping them moist, keeping them strong. If you have allergies. Another thing that this has is obviously the Cataplex C. And the C is great because it helps with the immune system and it helps you fight colds. So that's my favorite thing to use. And another thing I want to talk about with that last video was, you know, the hydrogen peroxide and using food grade versus not food grade. I completely agree that food grade is the best. I still use a 3% food grade mixed with 50% of my saline solution with each treatment that I do. Um, and that works great. And so again, we're doing that because why? We want to stay away from the food stable or the uh, stabilizers that they put in the um, regular hydrogen peroxide. And so we omit that by using the food grade. And that's the same with the vitamin C. We wanna use a whole food supplement ingredient. So we're getting that whole vitamin C complex rather than just the shell of that. So keep tuned, keep, keep your questions and comments coming guys. More to come. Thanks so much for watching, bye.